Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you two ways of exporting data from an internal table. Variant one is download the data, whereby the individual columns are separated by tabs. Variant two is download the data as a CSV file. I have already created a program for this and subdivided it as follows. First, we select data from an internal table. Next, we create a GUI download and we create a file which is separated by tabs. And second is the CSV export. So let's start with the selection of the data select star from s flight into table at data it s flight next we create a, a gui download and for this I use the class CL GUI Frontend Services and I call the method GUI download and I have some exporting parameters here. First the file name. I write here C colon backslash temp backslash itap dot txt. Next, the file type it's DAT and the code page. I use here or one one zero or utf8 next my changing parameter it's the data tab and here i write my internal table it s flight okay let's pretty print and activate the code then run the code and uh, we have here a security question because the system won't uh, download a file to my file system and I allow this and we see here some data is downloaded. Then let's have a look to my temporary folder and we see here the data from the internal table separated by tabs. Okay, the next step is to export the data as a CSV file. So we command this. And for the CSV export, we use the class CLICF CSV. And we call the method request for write into CSV. Then we have some parameters here. First IT data and here I pass my internal table. It's IT S flight. Next parameter is called EW HDR struct name and I write here the name of the database table next I we init directory it's C column backslash backslash temp it's my local temporary folder and last the file name ewe file name 
and I call my file itab.csv. Okay, let's uh, pretty print and activate the code. Oh, we have some problems here. Let's have a look. Um, okay, it's the open bracket. The, it's the blank here. So let's activate again. Yes. Let's run the code. We have the security question again. We allow this and we see some data is downloaded. And we open the local folder again and we make a double click on the CSV file. And we see here our data from the internal table separated by semicolon as a CSV file. Okay, before you continue, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Of course, only if you like the video. Feel free to leave me a few comments here. I always enjoy reading them. I hope to see you again in one of my next videos. Thank you and see you soon.